All right, so Marvel's back at it again. I just went to the movies and watched Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and I have a lot of uh, thoughts. A lot of these thoughts come back to the writer, Jeff Loveness, who has turned loveless after seeing these reviews. <laughs> this has a couple spoilers for Quantumania, but not major ones. I think that it's obvious where Marvel is taking a giant step down right now is with its visual effects. Yes, backgrounds were amazing in this movie, but then there was things like specifically the character of Modoc, who could have been so cool, but whatever, we'll get into that in a second. And there's also the costuming with Kang and the blue Snapchat face filter that they decided to put on him occasionally. They just, what? It's... I understand trying to look like a comic book, but Jesus Christ. So I think that one of the major issues with this film is, I guess, just handing it over to one of the writers of Rick and Morty and being like, this is going to be good because Rick and Morty was good. You guys understand what the multiverse is, right? Even though Jeff Loveness has never worked on a movie like this before. And I think that the writing for like Kang was great. I think that some of it was okay. And then some of it was, yeah, just slapstick humor thrown in there for the sake of being like look if somebody laughs that means the movie's good right and modok was the definition of why that is not true first off modok i'm not one of those comic guys i'm not going to sit here and be like well if you look at the comics you'll understand but modok was supposed to be smart uh i don't know at what point we missed that memo that the whole point of modok is that he's got a big brain so he then created himself to literally have a big brain i don't i i thought that's who modok was maybe i'm confused but in this story modok is just an accidental mishap of falling into the quantum realm in a bad position i guess and it shrank all of his body but his head and then another like instagram filter popped out and just posted up someone's head with a little bit of tiny arms on the side it was pretty bad <laughs> the worst part about it is that the writer, instead of accepting that, hey, we took this character, we made him just a punching bag for a couple jokes, and then killed him off, which completely ruins that character from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, instead of accepting that that was an issue, a, he took to interviews to say this, and I quote, let me just say, the people who are divided, they're wrong. So first off, calling your fans wrong because they don't agree with the idea that you yourself came up with and just scrapped the character previously but whatever they're wrong uh and then he continues to say i will go to the mat for modok i am so happy and it was such a fight i don't know who you're fighting maybe he's talking about the fight in the movie it was less of a fight and just modok getting pummeled but whatever and it was such a labor of love and passion and all of that just to get the comedy balance of this guy i i personally me I don't think there was much of a comedy balance of more of just like a one joke we're kind of jabbing, but whatever. Hey, I'm a big comics guy. I'm sure you are too. That saved him right there. Saying that really saved him from any of the backlash. He's got it. We're on the internet. Good observation. People got opinions. Example. Look at us. My opinions. He's right. He called this, he called this video out. Then he <laughs> says, those motherfuckers are wrong. And now you lost me again. You are right about the opinion thing. You were, like, I think that this argument was almost good, <laughs> where, where he could have just been like, look, I like this idea of MODOK. I thought it was funny. I didn't expect it to not be funny. My bad. Next time, we'll not do that. But instead, he goes, people got opinions, and y'all motherfuckers are wrong. I know MODOK. I am MODOK. I figured it out. I know Marvel. You comic book nerds, just shut up and listen to me because I'm the writer. I am Marvel now. I would expect nothing less of someone that's coming straight off of Rick and Morty. And then he says, I'm sorry you want to do a serious take on MODOK? Which no one was asking for. No one said that. That was him. That was, that was insecurities popping out. No one necessarily said, we need a serious MODOK. But I would like to be able to take a Marvel movie seriously. I think that there's a lot of things in Marvel that could hit a little deeper if we stop doing the same type of humor for every single character. Maybe MODOK's sense of humor is different than Peter Quill. Maybe it's not just slapstick and being like, ah, here we go again, you know? 
But, uh, but what do I know about writing? I'm only an actor. <laughs> anyway, he continues to say, I played the Avengers game on PS5, which everyone knows that game was trash. I don't know why that is the defense. And he says, good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back later. Uh, and to the yeah, 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 come back later aggressive thing, I don't understand why he's attacking the people that paid money to go see this movie. They paid money, had a legitimate criticism, and when he heard about it, he just got mad. He sounds like he sounds like a 13-year-old boy when you tell them that Goku doesn't solo everything, and they just don't know how to comprehend that in the tiny pea brain. Maybe this guy should take a lesson from MODOK and just work on thinking about things. And then there's another statement that he made in that same interview where he says, I'll take all the punches that they want, critiques, whatever. But MODOK? No, 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 no. I'm very happy with what we did. You could have started with that. Have that be your entire statement. Don't say those motherfuckers are wrong. Just say your side, what your opinion is, and move on. I think what, what has me all shivering in my timbers about this is that he's so aggressive about it. And this is coming from uh, the knockoff Jake Gyllenhaal. And then I would decided to go look on Twitter, because of course I would, to see if he said anything else about this since a few days ago when he was in that interview. I see the only thing that he's posted is on March 1st that says, Do not believe the clickbait. Hit peace on me from Country Living Magazine. Because he says he had never balanced faith, fun, and family. And never would. I don't know what that's going off on to be honest, but it just solidified in my mind that this Jack Loveness character is very uh, aggressive when it comes to anything that is related to criticism, being wrong. It just kind of sounds like a spoiled brat to me, but what do I know? He's also posted multiple times about MODOK and specifically the scene where you can see MODOK's bare butt. It seems to me like that is his pride and joy in this film. That was the thing that really set this film to be peak and to be loved by the critics. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I'm going back to my favorite MODOK and the Lego Marvel video games. See ya.